What's going on guys, Roger here with QVO Tactical. In today's video, we are going to be going over my current EDC gun and how we have it customized uh, with some new products from our friends over at Tactical Development, as well as some very new products of our own. Uh, of course, I'm talking about our Staccato CS EDC build. All right guys, first thing, if you haven't checked out our thousand round range review on the new Staccato CS, uh, we definitely recommend watching that video as we put this gun through the paces. Um, now after filming that video, we started working with Tactical Development on holster fitment for their new TLR7 Sub Pro Ledge. Brad over at Tactical Development has designed a polymer thumb rest that mounts directly into the TLR7 Sub weapon light. Uh, it does this cleanly and gives you a nice minimal ledge for thumb placement. Uh, this helps you drive down the front of the muzzle downward, reducing muzzle rise during recoil. Additionally, you guys might remember from our first video on the CS um, that I wish the grip was a half inch longer. This led to us 3D modeling our new mainspring housing extension. Um, after a few 3D printed prototypes, we had a working sample. We then had them manufactured via multi-jet infusion in nylon 12 material so that we could match the stock staccato CS grip cleanly. Our goal was to create a product that looked OEM. Um, we were very pleased with the end result and the feedback that we have received from everyone has been about how the grip just fits much better in their hand. I've also equipped my Staccato CS with the Holosun 509 that has the primary arms ACSS reticle installed. Uh, this optic has two of my favorite features, which are that it is a closed emitter red dot and that it has the outer ring in the reticle that guides you back to center. Now I wanted to make a short video showing you guys how I currently carry my Staccato CS. The first thing I wanted to do on the range was to shoot a stock Staccato CS and then immediately after that shoot our Staccato CS in its current configuration with the Tactical Dev Pro Ledge and our mainspring housing extension. All right guys, so the first thing I wanted to do out here on the range was shoot both guns side by side. Obviously they're the same exact gun, they're both Staccato CS's, however, uh, one is stock without our mainspring housing extension and one has it. Um, if you haven't seen the first video we did on the CS, please check it out. It's our thousand round range review. We had a blast shooting that thing um, during that time. We ran a thousand rounds to this exact one right here, um, which is the one I actually carry as my EDC gun right now. Um, during that video though, I did talk about how I wish the grip was a little longer. Um, like I said in studio, I'm one of the guys who liked when Glock came out with the 19X. Um, I, I even did a video where I took a full-size P grip and put it on my C2 and called it the C2X. So I dig a longer grip with a compact slide, and so that's why we decided to develop this product. Um, anyway, I'm gonna shoot both side by side um, just to kinda get a feel for it once again, and I'm gonna have Gil hop up here. He has not shot the Staccato CS with the uh, CSX extension. So here we go, first five rounds, regular CS. Like right now, just grabbing it and squeezing it and getting a nice firm grip. I can feel, if you come over here, Gil, for me, right there, that meaty portion. See, like when I squeeze in, after a thousand round range day, that definitely was a little sore, um, and that's what that's where this, this product was developed from. So I'm gonna shoot five rounds through this. I haven't even shot this one yet. This is the one that we now use in shot for holster fitment. So this will be the first rounds through it. Shoots great, feels great. However, I do have a little soreness still from that thousand round range review where I can feel that there. So now enter the CSX ma uh, mainspring housing extension and right away, Definitely night and day difference to me. Feels much better in the hand. Um, you guys will notice here, come over here again, Gil. See how it clears my hand? It doesn't dig right in there, there's no point there. And I'll get into all the different things you guys can do with it, but I'll shoot five rounds through here, um, and then just, I mean, it feels awesome already, but here we go. So, same recoil impulse, but much more comfortable in the hand. Um, I'm definitely not going to get sore or fatigued throughout another thousand on range day with this. I'm gonna have Gil hop up here now, have him run the same setup and see what he thinks. All right, we got Gil up now, same drill, bud. So try the uh, stock Staccato CS, which you helped us with the range review. So go for it, shoot five rounds through that. No, no CSX mainspring extension. All right, and now go right into shooting the other and just instant feedback. Just tell us how it feels, if there's any difference that you notice, whatever. I mean, right away I can feel that I get that full contact of my hand on that grip. So it just feels more comfortable to point out and shoot a lot better. Man, that feels great. 
Now for me, it is a very significant difference in regards to how the grip feels in my hands. Um, this has been the consensus among everybody that has tried it out. This was our goal. However, I did have some people asking about concealment. Um, I designed our mainspring housing extension to be in line and flush with the stock Staccato CS magazine base plate. In doing so, concealment and or printing does not change. Uh, to better illustrate this for you guys, you can see here on the range, Gil and I uh, both concealing my Staccato CS build in our wingman appendix rig with a spare magazine attached. Uh, Gil is five foot 11 and weighs 175 pounds, and he has no problems concealing this under his t-shirt. Uh, I'm 5'8 and I weigh 200 pounds, and also with a t-shirt, I conceal this setup no problem. Now, since we're speaking about magazines, I also wanted to address anyone that was asking about reloads. Um, this does not affect reloads in a negative way whatsoever. As a matter of fact, it actually gives you a back wall to index a magazine off of when reloading. Uh, the magwell opening of the grip is still the same, so there will be no change in reloading capabilities. To better illustrate this, I decided to run some one reload one drills on the range. All right guys, so like I said in the studio, want to do some 1R1, some reload drills, um, just to kind of put your mind at ease in regards to reloads. I had a couple people that were asking uh, in the forums about, hey, is it gonna impede reloading at all? No, it actually gives you like this back wall that you can index off of, uh, very similar to when we used a metal Chili grip on one of our uh, C2 builds. But anyway, here we go, 1R1, standby. Got a total time, 3.03. .03. So I'll do a couple more and see if we can break three seconds. But I mean, for the first one, it's pretty great. Two seventy-seven. Let's go one more. Bad index on the mag, but the reload was still smooth and it was still under three seconds for a 286. So for any of you guys had questions or worries about, hey, with it not being um, a mag well, uh, you definitely still have that back portion, still easy reload, very similar to just reloading without it on a regular CS. Um, or if you have a metal Chili grip, you'll understand what I mean by it having that flush uh, mainspring housing, so. All right, now I wanna go over some questions I know that I'm gonna get down below in the comment section. Um, first off, guys, yes, our Staccato CS mainspring housing extension is available for purchase on our website, qvotactical.com. Um, it's only gonna be about 35 to 40 bucks. On the product page, you're gonna find a separate video on how to correctly install the mainspring housing extension. Uh, we do recommend taking it to a professional gunsmith to have installed if you are not familiar with how to properly take down a 2011. Um, also understand that this product could void your grip warranty with Staccato, so take that into consideration. All right guys, one other thing I wanna cover. We did get a few questions about possibly making a bobtail version of this product. Uh, we don't have any plans to do that. That was not our intended design with our mainspring housing extension. However, you will notice here, there is plenty of excess material there for you guys out there that do grip reductions or stippling magic. Um, if you guys wanna take it amongst yourself to go ahead and remove that and make a bobtail version, you definitely could with how much extra material there is there. Uh, we are also looking at possibly having other companies that do grips and stippling and stuff like that stock these. That way you guys can get those um, parts the way you want them if you so desire. Now, if you're interested in the Tactical Development Pro Ledge and you need a holster for it, we have a new Tactical Development section on our website uh, for holsters that will accommodate that accessory. Additionally, you can purchase a Pro Ledge with your holster if you do not already have one on our website as well. Guys, that's gonna wrap up this short video. I was getting a lot of questions via social media from our recent post on this build, so I wanted to make this full video for you guys all to check out. This setup is definitely one of my favorites now. Um, I think that all that's left to do is to get this thing ported and to have our buddies over at Extreme Shooters do their awesome stippling magic on both the grip and our mainspring housing extension. As always, guys, we appreciate you checking out the video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. It does help us out here on the channel. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. Make sure to also check out our content on Rumble, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.